Today, before we take out to pasture, we uh, wanted to clean up the sheep and uh, we actually, this is my macho and he is getting his nails trimmed um, after he got his uh, ivermectin and his vitamin uh, B12. So we had to tie him down. He was a little ruly, but now you can see he's relaxed and Samuel is cleaning him up. Um, so he's going to untie him and, and, uh, well, I actually cut something else here. We like to do this about once a month, um, <clears throat> is when we deworm them. And, uh, because they, they get, they get some parasites, they get some, you know, by rotational grazing, no matter what you do, there's, there's, there's stuff in my woods. There's, there's, you know, so, um, it's important to uh, clean them and, and deworm them, but at the same time, I you, you know we need to do rotational grazing because um, you don't want them in the same area all the time, and um, uh, that way it makes it easier um, that they're getting some type of fresh food. So uh, that's important. So we take this time out to to do that. My macho here, he's uh, a big guy. I only have one, and I have the rest that are embras. And um, so after he trims them up, then we'll send them out to pasture. This little area we built again with. Uh, <laughs> things on the farm and I just we just use the bamboo um, and some crates basically um, and with permaculture um, it's it's so important to use everything you can um, from the farm um, and I just like to not just to reuse it but um, thinking of ways to once things go um, get old or die, figuring out a way to reuse it back into the soil. So that is um, one thing that I like learning about. And just for an example um, would be um, like the rotted trees, the rotted wood. I, I use those for my hugo culture beds. I put them, you know, if they're old and rotted, they're perfect for a breakdown, to break down soil. So that was, you know, and then same thing with the bamboo. Bamboo grows like crazy here. So we, I use it for any type of uh, building um, for the shelter, for um, the animals, as well as my, my, um, my uh, garden area and uh, my chicken coop. Uh, so um, <clears throat> we don't have to get resources or, or buy anything. I walk around here. So this I have it divided into three sections. So it was really basically for the sheep. Um, I want a small area for any of the sheep that were having a baby and then another area would be for the macho. Yep. And this is where <laughs> one of them got out last night, so Sam was gonna change the locks here. Um, it's not as strong, but we're gonna get a strong one. And this is one area that they um, graze in. Um, this area has a lot of tech, tech, uh, teak, um, and uh, it's a nice area for them to to graze. I was a little nervous about putting them in a more wooded area, but. Um, because sheep, they're, they're not like goats in that they'll jump up and 
eat anything or they they pretty much are gonna eat what's on the ground so um that uh uh but it's helped because it keeps our grass low in this area as well That's it for the morning. I'm going to um, take my walk and finish up uh, some things in the house and uh, we'll send them off to pasture. Okay, um, my name's Natasha. I live in Panama on a permaculture farm and I work to be as self-sufficient as possible. Thanks for watching.